As hundreds of major U.S. companies exit Russia over its invasion of Ukraine, Coke Industries is staying put. The industrial conglomerate, the second-largest privately owned business in America with $115 billion in annual revenue, is among those defying public pressure and continuing to operate manufacturing plants and sell products across Russia, while up until Wednesday remaining mum on that nation's relentless assault on Ukrainian cities. Wichita, Kansas-based Coke has several business lines in Russia, and is among the nearly 40 companies described as digging in by refusing to curb or stop business in that nation, according to a tally compiled by Yale University professor Jeffrey Sonnenfeld and his research team. Coke subsidiary Guardian Industries has two industrial glass manufacturing plants in Russia that employ about 600. Outside of Guardian, Coke employs 15 people in Russia, according to the company. While Guardian's business in Russia is a very small part of Coke, we will not walk away from our employees there or hand over these manufacturing facilities to the Russian government so it can operate and benefit from them, Dave Robertson, president and COO of Coke Industries, said Wednesday in a statement posted by the company. Calling Russia's attack on Ukraine an affront to humanity that violates our company's values and principles, Robertson also said the company has provided financial assistance to workers and their families from Ukraine and other aid to those affected in neighboring countries. To be clear, Koch companies are complying with all applicable sanctions, laws and regulations governing our relationships and transactions within all countries where we operate, he added. We will continue to closely monitor the situation and keep you updated as needed. The company's stance on doing business in Russia drew criticism in some quarters. The New Yorker's Jane Mayer, author of Dark Money, a book about the Koch's political influence, said the company's justification is hypocritical. Given how small Koch says its Russian operation is, hard not to see this as purely symbolic, sending the message that all of Koch's talk of rights and liberty means nothing. Making money is what they value, Mayer tweeted.